All right, so yesterday I posted a video making a kind of fake commercial for Pringles. Uh, well, it wasn't for Pringles, obviously, but I was just using a Pringles can as my prop. And uh, yeah, that video was a lot of fun to make. Very difficult, but fun. And I'm just kind of in that zone of product, video, product, photo, just kind of creating, uh, you know, content for different products. So um, today I wanted to stay in that theme and do a product photography shoot. And the product that I'm gonna be using today are a pair of my Bose headphones that I use for editing. Guys right here. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just think this will be <clears throat> a fun, kind of, just a fun little product to try and shoot and capture. Now, uh, this is the difference between like photography and video when it comes to product shoots is that with a video, you know, you're handing over one piece of content, basically, you know, your one finished video. When you're trying to do photo, you wanna make sure you hand over a collection or you, you have a, a final set of photos that you're gonna use. And so my goal for today is to get five good usable photos that say, for example, like if I was actually working for Bose and they said, hey, take, you know, can you create an advertisement campaign for these headphones, you know, for me, I'd want to have like five solid photos that I know that they're going to use. Now, obviously I'd hand over a lot more, but you get what I'm saying. So that's the plan for today. Five good photos of these headphones and uh, using nothing else other than what I have available to me in my home. And specifically today, I'm going to do this entire shoot in my bedroom. So uh, yeah, that'll be fun. All right. So similar setup today as I had yesterday, I've just got two uh, foam boards right here, 20 inches by 30 inches. I've got a black sheet of construction paper holding it together with two of those little clamps over there. And that makes the set that we're gonna be using today. Now, a few other things that I have at my disposal. I'm using this little wand light again. I've got, well, technically Haley has a like photography crystal that I can use to maybe just try to, you know, add a creative element to some of these photos. And then I've always wanted to use this weird like lightning or lightning thunder, this weird, what is it? Lightning is the thing. Okay, yes. <clears throat> this, this funny little lightning bolt thing that I have. Um, so I don't know how I could use that, but hey, maybe we could. All right, so these first shots, um, you know, just basic, simple, nothing wrong with them really, but I think we can definitely add a lot to this to just help enhance some of the photos. So the first thing I'm gonna do is point this little wand light up the backdrop. Kind of just see what that does. Okay, that's already looking better. Yeah, so right away, just adding that light in the background helps out a lot. I think though, I've got it set to this little like orange color. Might be better to make it, uh, you know, just a nice pure white. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out a way to bring in just some more texture into the shots without over complicating, you know, the, the headphones. Cause remember, I do want to keep it simple and minimal. And so in this, in this case, I think the less props, the better. So what I did was I went and grabbed a cutting board cause it has a nice natural wood uh, color to it. And I'm just gonna try it out real quick and see if having that on the bottom instead of the white uh, foam board, if that'll look any better. Not gonna lie, that doesn't look horrible. Um, I do kind of like the natural wood uh, tones that I'm getting. So next I'm gonna try this crystal, see if that helps anything at all. Okay, so I think I have a very usable, like centerpiece shot. Um, I'll probably try a few different things as well here, but for now, I really do like the one shot that I got. Next, I'm gonna focus in and get some like details. Uh, so the different buttons on the headphones, maybe get, you know, the nice fabric the, or the, is that, it's probably like a composite leather, but the nice material of the headphone case. 
and just try and show uh, the entire package as a whole. I just started taking some details of, you know, the kind of getting some tighter in shots and I switched up the, the bottom layer to another black sheet of construction paper and I took like, you probably already saw it, but I took the light wand and like backlit uh, the headphones and dang, the photos were looking like so good. Sorry. Uh, they were looking really, really good. So the only problem with that, with having uh, the same color on the back and on the bottom uh, is now my original shot, which had like the cutting board on the, on the base, that doesn't really go with the theme of these other photos that I've taken. So now I'm gonna redo uh, like the main hero shot for this collection and uh, see what we can come up with with that. All right, so really the last part of this process is now just going into Lightroom, choosing the, you know, several selects that I want to finish with, and then, you know, applying just a nice clean edit, a consistent edit to every photo. Now, one thing that I am gonna do, and I would recommend if you ever find yourself in this situation, is when you're shooting a product, you want to keep all the colors as natural as possible. You don't want to go too crazy in the edit unless otherwise directed. But in this case, I think just with the theme of these photos, I am gonna make them very heavily contrasted, meaning the blacks are gonna be super crushed, very black, and then hopefully the highlights can be as bright as possible without overexposing it. And uh, yeah, just kind of going for like an overall very like dark contrast, moody look to it, at the same time keeping a very clean aesthetic. So we'll see how that goes. So just finished doing all the edits and I ended up with, I think nine photos that I'm super happy about. Uh, and these are all really, really cool. So I'm gonna go over just a few of them here with you and uh, just kind of share with you my experience throughout this video. Now for like the main hero image, uh, I was kind of tore between two options here. One of them, is probably the right answer. The other one I just think looks super sick. So let me show you the one that's probably would get used as the main image. And that's this one right here. Honestly, really happy with how this turned out. Uh, I think definitely going with the black background and the black uh, base layer was the right move to make. I just think overall it, it made these, uh, made the headphones just look really like very sleek and, and modern. And so I think that's a really, really good look. Now, as much as I love this photo, check out this one right here. Oh, dude, this is this is honestly so sick. Uh, I'll probably end up using this for like the thumbnail of this video or something like that, I think. But uh, I really love the element of the lightning bolt in the background. I just think that looks cool. Uh, but at the same time, with the vignette that I put, I think your attention still is drawn to the Bose logo on the on the ear cu cup there. So I don't know, this photo is really sick, but you know, probably in a professional setting, you would use the first one, but I think that one is still a fun one to have. Then next, let me go to some of the detail shots. I'll show you the innard, innard, the inside of the ear cups versus the right one here. Uh, yeah, really, I really love uh, how it looked once I started putting that little wand light and, and backlighting the headphones. I think that really added a ton of uh, character and contrast to these images. And then here's a closer up one of the left ear cup. Again, looks really clean, really modern, really sleek. Here's a shot of the buttons on one of the, on one of the ear cups. And uh, yeah, I, I like how this looks as well. Um, 
<laughs> the only thing I don't like about this one in particular is just I think my headphones are a little worn so you have a little bit of wear there but you know if I were to use brand new perfectly you know perfect condition headphones I probably wouldn't have that problem and yeah just going through some other uh, variations of the shots and yeah honestly all in all I think it turned out really really well uh, better than I thought it was going to to be honest and you know all it took was a little experimenting you know trial and error and I think the important part the the biggest takeaway from this video that I wanted to show is like bro I did this on my in my bed like in on my mattress like I did this whole photo shoot in my bedroom on my mattress and so really there's you would never be able to tell that by the images in my opinion so uh, yeah hopefully this video is helpful for you it was a lot of fun to make um, I'm really enjoying just doing these like product shoots. I don't know, maybe I'll do a few more during this whole 21 day uh, video challenge that I'm doing. But anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap the video up here today. Uh, thank you all for watching. Really, really appreciate all the support. This has been a fun journey so far and I'm only four days in, so I can't wait to uh, honestly just continue keeping this thing rolling. But uh, until then, see you guys tomorrow.